Hello and welcome my dear students to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Ms. Ruchika welcoming you all to today's session especially on the request of grade 9 advanced students. So yes finally the video is out for the exam coverage EOT for term 1 and in this video we are covering learning objective 1 where you write and interpret equations. So let's get started with the video. In the first learning objective you are going to translate equation into sentences. So in this session we are going to cover questions 19 to 31. As you see here the questions are mentioned and these are on your math book on page 72. So when you have to write a sentence for an equation you have to look out for certain things. For example you have to look out for mathematical symbols like addition, like subtraction, like division, like multiplication. So we are going to use um, all of these mathematical symbols and these are all equations. Equations means they have equal to sign. As you see there is a left hand side, there is a right hand side and accordingly we are now going to convert or translate these equations into sentences. Also you will see some variables like the unknown values. For example here the variable is j. In this question the variable is m. In this question the variable is p. Here the variable is t and so on. So we are going to use these variables. We are going to use these numbers. We are going to use these symbols addition, multiplication, subtraction, division all of them together to do these kind of questions. So let's do them one by one. We begin with question 19. So here you see addition. That means the sum is happening. You are adding two things. So we can convert this uh, equation, given equation into a sentence in this manner. So the sum of, of which two quantities? One is the variable j and the second quantity is the number 16. And 16 is equal to how much? Is equal to 35. So either you like is equal to or you can simply write is 35 so that's how now one way is also that you can convert the numbers also into words so you may replace 16 with uh, the word 16 you can spell it or you can similarly convert 35 into 35 Okay, let's do this. So here you see multiplication. So either you can write 4 multiplied with m is equal to 52 or you may also write 4 times m is equal to 52. So both are going to be correct. Next we move to question 21. Here if you see there is multiplication happening. So we can write 7 multiplied with p plus 23 or we can also write 7 times the sum of p and 23 that is equal to how much is same as is equal to both are correct is 102 that is also okay this one here now it has subtraction and two variables so we can write see this way r is multiplied with r or you can also say it is r square and we are subtracting 15 so one way is you say r square minus 15 is equal to t plus 19 or you may also write in this manner that 15 less than square of r is equal to or is same as or is the sum of t and 19. Why I write sum? Because here on the right side it is positive. So I hope you got an idea how to convert. So now we will similarly do this one question 23. Here you see multiple operations. Here 2 over 5 is multiplied to v. Here it is a fraction 3 by 4 both are added and this is equal to this value. So let's write this. So, 2 fifths of V plus or added to because there is addition 3 by fourths or you may write 3 by 4 or you may also write like this 3 fourths is equal to how much 2 over 3 or 2 thirds of X square. Okay, so now let's similarly do the remaining question in the next slide. 
So I will do a few more questions here. So let's do 29 and 30. So here you see multiplication of 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 can also be said as half. So we can write half of the sum of. Now what are the two variables? F and Y. So F and Y is either it is we can directly write is 5 minus uh, sorry f minus 5 or you may also write is equal to uh, f minus 5 or 5 less than f both are correct now let's do uh, question 33 so here you see square square of k square square of n square and you are subtracting so k squared minus n squared that's the left side is equal to or is equal is can be written as 2 times b or twice b. Both are correct. Okay. Uh, let's do one more. This one, question 26. So here you see multiplication. 2 is being multiplied to t and this. And here again, you're just opening it. It's like a distributive property. So we can write 2 times the quantity. Which quantity it is? It is the sum of two other quantities. So t plus 4 times q. That's the left hand side. Is equal to how much? It becomes equal to 2 times q plus 4t is 2 times q plus 4t. Okay, so I hope you've got an idea how to do these kind of questions and how to translate um, a given equation into sentence. Let's check your answer key in the next slide. So here on this slide, now I have provided you the answers for all the questions from 19 to 30. So you may check your answer and let me know in the comment section how many of you got all the answers correct. And if this video helped you, then I would like you to share this video with all your grade 9 and 1 students so that they can benefit from this video and they can get good marks in their upcoming math exam. So thank you for watching this video. Stay glued to the channel Mathematics Made Easy as I'm Ms. Ruchika and I'll be making more and more videos for you uh, in the national day break before your exam so that you can benefit from it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if this video helped you and also press the bell icon so that you receive the notification when I upload a new video for grade 9 advance. Until then, this is Ms. Ruchika signing off from today's session. See you in my next video. All the best and bye-bye.